first put the budget in place, then we're not going to have any actual numbers. So this is probably the budget that we would first kind of present and we can format it in different ways. We can go back up top and we can uh, change the date ranges up top to run it for different periods. So you might say, I'm going to run it, you know, from 010123 to 033123 for like the first quarter and run the report that way. Notice you don't have anywhere near the, the, the kind of formatting capabilities you have with a normal income statement, because you'll see that you have a different options. If you go to an income statement here, you've got the month by month and, and so on breakout, and you can't do the comparative uh, type of reports as well, because it's just a budget. So, so the only comparative report that we have is a whole different report, which is budget versus actual. That's why I say that if you were to, for example, create this budget, which you can, just from the prior year data, we saw that you can just kind of easily do that. Then of course, as time passes, you can make a budget versus actual, your budget constructed from the prior year data. But if you were in, if you were in QuickBooks, you could just do a, a comparison to the prior year data uh, using, using just a comparative report analysis, right? You can compare to the prior period and the prior year so there's the budget isn't adding a whole lot unless you construct the budget of course to be something more than just the pri the prior year data that's usually the kind of like the baseline so we can we can build our budgets thusly now we've put the first two months of the budget in place and have actual data for it as well so let's hit the right 